Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to West Virginia Astronomy. It's a super exciting night for me because at 4 a.m. I'm waking up to drive about an hour north of Green Bank and about an hour east of Elkins to photograph the night sky from Seneca Rocks, West Virginia. A full day of landscape photography, hopefully followed by a night of astrophotography. It's an almost three hour drive for me, so I want to get a head start and get up there early so I can have a full day to kind of scout out some good compositions and really take my time and enjoy really being outside. I will be meeting up with a fellow photographer and friend, Dave Green from Beckley, West Virginia, to uh, kind of share this experience with. Uh, he's a super nice guy, he's a great photographer, and we actually met uh, through photography. So I kind of took a chance, scheduled for this day, and it seems like the weather for tomorrow night looks good. So keeping my fingers crossed, um, it says clear, but um, you guys know how quickly that can change. I got everything packed up already, ready to go, so all I gotta do is set my alarm, wake up, make my coffee, and roll out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep, uh, call it an early night, so I can hopefully get a solid few hours in before I gotta drive, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because super excited. Been planning this trip for a while. So stick around and join me as I go photograph the beautiful Seneca Rocks, West Virginia. All right, it is five. 57 a.m. and I am a little behind schedule. I was actually looking last night and it's not as far away as I thought it was, so we'll see. Should still get there in time to meet Dave at 9 a.m. Beautiful. I love this road. This is actually 92 and it's way out in the middle of nowhere, basically. So this is the same way you would take to get to Green Bank Observatory. It's one of the largest, if not the largest, radio observatory in the world. Radio, but man, it's just so pretty up here. hiking up to the rock you can see over there yeah got mr. Dave Green in front of me what up Dave what up Seneca rocks is one of the best known landmarks in West Virginia these rocks are a magnificent formation rising nearly 900 feet above the North Fork River in the Allegheny Mountains. There are lots of trails to hike ranging in difficulty um, with the main trail called by the locals the Seneca Trail leading you all the way to the top to the observation platform. Giant boulders formed more than 200 million years ago at the end of the Paleozoic era. When we made it to the top, it was super windy, but we were rewarded with the most fantastic views of West Virginia I have ever seen. I mean, it was truly incredible. Everywhere you looked was just these beautiful snow-capped mountains that uh, really wouldn't have worked if it hadn't have snowed like the day or two before. 
and we're just left with this really uh, awesome blue looking uh, peaks with all these leading lines and super nice. If you actually make your way past the trail over the scurry of rocks at the top, you can actually make your way up to the very top of the ridge with a full 360 degree view in all directions, which is perfect for telephoto imaging. So I pulled out my 7200 and this is what I captured from the top. This is a 16 shot handheld panorama shot at 70 millimeters, ISO 100, F11. I love how the road leads your eye into the image and all the layers of snow-capped mountains and it goes on and on and on. Really love this image. I really like the isolated location of this cabin completely alone on this clearing and again all the leading lines directing the eye to the building. Really nice composition that again wouldn't have worked without all the snow adding contrast and separation to the scene. This is another 16 shot handheld panorama facing the other direction and I was able to capture a few light rays breaking through the clouds along with the rolling mountains leading out of the frame. The weather was truly amazing, snowing and sunshine at the same time, I just had to capture it. This is a 3 shot handheld vertical panorama, 70mm, ISO 100, F11. Again, I captured some glowing light breaking through the clouds, illuminating the background mountain and a few leading lines. I just thought it looked like a nice image. All right. So, I'm gonna, I'm pulling out of the motel now. Um, it's a, not a bad little hike. It was uh, pouring down the snow, super windy at the top don't know if things are really gonna work out the sky is completely cloudy but hopefully that will change once it gets dark so I'm keeping my fingers crossed but either way I got some cool photographs from the top of the cliff uh, I'm just gonna drive around now and try to find a composition to uh, to set up for tonight so got a good five hours of daylight left so I got plenty of time to really scope out some cool composition so let's roll found a good composition. I'm actually framing up the, uh, the rock with the trees here. I probably will have to do a focus stack. So I'm at ISO 100. Um, one over two fiftieth of a second, F16. water. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Don't know what kind 
kind of tree this is but it's gnarly looking I'm just kind of walking around trying to find a good composition but it doesn't matter where you go it just seems like you can get a good photo but uh I want to find something kind of special. Um, I didn't know how much I actually needed to just get away and get out by myself. It's nice to just kind of walk around and explore and not really have anything I have to do. I already got some good pictures, um, so it's a good trip. I spent a few more hours walking around taking photos and finally found two beautiful compositions to shoot a blue hour. It can be hard to find something original in a place like this. It's so easy to get a good photo that you constantly think you're going to find something better or something else. But here are a few of my favorite images of the day. It's about three o'clock in the morning and I just got the Star Tracker set up and I'm using the Canon 80D and I shot my foreground during blue hour and the Milky Way should rise right above the rock so fingers crossed everything's gonna work out the sky is perfectly clear looks great yeah super cold out here god a.m. Um, kind of just waiting on the Milky Way to rise and it is freaking cold outside man. it is 21 degrees and the wind chill is like super crazy man. Um, just kind of parked here beside the road with my car running trying to stay warm it's hard because it is freaking 21 degrees outside i'm gonna wait here about five more minutes and then go ahead and head over all right guys i'm using the sam yang 14 millimeter f2.8 and yeah i'm just gonna shoot a milky way as it rises above seneca rocks here i've been waiting on this for a long time pretty soon guys The thing I love about astrophotography is how it constantly challenges me. Nights like these are truly the ones that test my devotion and dedication. It turns out the Milky Way would take another full hour to rise to where I needed it. The bitter cold and wind were grabbing me pretty good. I definitely thought many times about calling it a night, but many trips back and forth to the car to warm up kept me going and man was it worth it. 
I'll never forget this trip spent with my friend in the freezing cold at the bottom of a mountain to capture these beautiful photographs of the Milky Way rising over Seneca Rocks.